Thanks for tuning in to the Steminist Network. In this video, we're gonna compare two of the most popular and in-demand engineering careers, mechanical and software engineering. And since this is gonna be such an amazing video, jam-packed with a ton of useful information, make sure to hit that like button so others can benefit from seeing this video too. These professions couldn't be more different, yet here we are comparing the two because they're both amazing and rewarding careers that will allow you to do things beyond your imagination. If you are undecided about which major to pick, make sure you stick to the end of the video for some amazing advice on how to choose the one that's right for you. All right, so first let's talk about the differences between each of the majors. As a mechanical engineer, you can work on designing or analyzing rockets, cars or engines and much more. Because this is such an abstract description, here are a couple of job examples I pulled from Indeed to show you just what a mechanical engineer can do. As you can see, the job offerings are so diverse. There are many options you can choose from, so if you are hesitant because you think you'll get bored or will be working tasks that don't require much skill, then think again. Now on to software engineering. As a software engineer, you can do some pretty interesting things, such as become a video game designer or a 3D graphics developer. Instead of giving you a boring job description, we're gonna go through some examples of software engineering jobs out there. As you can see, the software engineering roles are very, very different from the mechanical ones. If this is the career you're thinking about pursuing, Clearly, there are a lot of opportunities out there for you. I must add that because of the exploding demand and expansion of technology and tech jobs, software engineers are one of the most in-demand type of engineer right now, and they are compensated so well because of that. Depending on the type of person you are and what you want to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis and what types of interactions you want to have, the choice is completely up to you and what would make you feel happiest. Each profession has its pros and cons and here are some of each. For mechanical engineers, it is more likely than for software engineers that they'll have to go out to the job site and look at a component of let's say a rocket, oil rig or car. Doing this takes them away from their computer work and will likely involve them interacting with other engineers or technicians. This is a pro for those who like to do work outside of just sitting at their desk on their computer. For example, let's say there's a Formula One engineer who's working on analyzing and improving the aerodynamics of a vehicle. Well, she figured that seeing it in person might give her better ideas. And she figured that she'd get some inspiration from going out to the vehicle and talking to others that also spend their day to day around the same vehicle. While doing that, she realized that this is actually what matched her personality type and that stepping away from her desk was really what she needed to be able to focus for the rest of the day on her analysis job. Obviously, if your job requires you to see things in person, your chances of working remotely are much less, which to some people can be a huge con. Now, on the other hand, software engineering has its own set of pros and cons. One huge pro that seems to be becoming more and more of a reality for software engineers, especially with our current worldwide health concerns, is the ability to work remotely full time. This means you can have location, independence, and literally work from anywhere in the world or just from the comfort of your couch if you feel like it. It helps avoid commutes to and from the office and it helps you gain control of your time and your freedom. One thing I know that I would personally struggle with if I were a software engineer is those long hours spent in front of the computer. Unlike mechanical engineers that do have more job opportunities that allow you to be in front of your work physically or that have more opportunities to be out in the field. This may or may not be a positive thing for you, but it depends on your personality and the type of work that you like. Now, in regards to salaries, what can you expect? Here we can see salary information from Indeed.com for mechanical engineers. On average, they make about $90,000 a year, but this goes up significantly with years of experience. 
And if you're looking for the best companies to work for as a mechanical engineer, here is a really, really useful list that Indeed has put together. Now in comparison, here's the salary information from Indeed.com for software engineers. From what we can see, software engineers clearly make a higher average salary than mechanical engineers. But I will say that as the years of experience increase, this gap definitely decreases. Remember that there are so many factors that go into a yearly salary that you should actually think about your salary as a full compensation package and take into account things like your health insurance, bonuses, stock options, etc. So it is imperative that you look at the entire package before you select the job that is right for you. If you want advice from an engineer, pick me. I would suggest you look inward and think about what you're most passionate about and what you picture yourself working in for 40 or more hours a week and still feeling happy day in and day out. Whatever that may be, pursue that. Don't pick a career based off the fact that one has an average starting salary more than the other instead of picking the one that you would actually enjoy. If you love what you do and it shows in your work and you're outstanding at your job, chances are that you will end up earning more than the average pay. If you're in college and you're undecided on which career path to take, I completely recommend taking on an internship and getting exposure to what it's really like to be in the shoes of that person working those jobs. Also, network, network, and network some more. Talk to people in the two different career paths you're undecided about and figure out which one sounds more appealing to you. Now, a question for you. Which of these careers would you rather pursue and why? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, mechanical engineering was a great option for me because it gave me so many career options, allowing me to work in theme parks and on rockets and allowing me to work in so many different types of roles. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you are one step closer to picking the major that is right for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more engineering career advice. Thanks for watching.